Welcome to the Vallejo Flood and Wastewater District. Our mission is to ensure that Vallejo is a healthy place to live and work. We do this by keeping our stormwater and wastewater free from pollution. What happens to dirty water after you flush the toilet? Well, here in Vallejo, it travels through some of our hundreds of miles of pipes until it arrives here at the wastewater treatment plant. Once it's here, it is cleaned up and then safely discharged to the Mare Island Strait. So how does the water get dirty? We do so much with water in our homes and schools and businesses. Think about it. We use our sinks to wash dishes and wash food, we take a shower, we go to the bathroom. All that dirty water from any part of your house, anytime it goes through a pipe, same with your school, same with your businesses, all that dirty water flows right here to the wastewater treatment plant. There are about 120,000 people working and living in Vallejo. So you can imagine we make a lot of wastewater. And that means we, at Vallejo Flood and Wastewater District, get to treat it. Between 8 and 10 million gallons a day during the dry season and much more when it rains. As wastewater enters the wastewater treatment plant, the first stop is the headworks. We have six large influent pumps at the basement level of the headworks, which is 30 feet below ground. Each pump can handle up to 18 million gallons per day of flow. So typically during our average dry weather flows, only one pump is running. The pumps pump the water to the top of the headworks and the water flows through the bar screen. As the name implies, the bar screen catches any debris that's in the wastewater stream. Typically those are just rags. However, we do remove vegetation, plastics, pretty much anything you can imagine we receive here at the headworks. As the level increases in the channel, there's a rake that comes down and removes all the debris from the bar screen and places it onto the conveyor. The conveyor belt then drops all the debris into a garbage bin. The next step in the process is the grit chamber. Here we pump air into the grit chamber and it removes sand, rocks, grit. We do this to protect all of our equipment downstream of the process. Pretty much anything we use here at the wastewater plant, we try to use beneficially and reuse. However, grit and rags have no beneficial reuse, so we haul them off to the landfill. We remove a large variety of things um, here at the Headworks. For an example, uh, you know, we have a lot of children's toys, golf balls. We even found Nemo here at the wastewater plant. Um, we show this to all our visitors. We receive a lot of students here and we educate them about the wastewater plant, and they love seeing this stuff. Wastewater flows pretty fast through the headworks. It enters the clarifier in the center column and hits a center ring, which slows down the process. We have an arm that goes around the top of the clarifier that takes all the stuff that floats, like grease, soap, oils, sends it onto a beach, puts it in a trough, and sends it to our sludge pumping room. We'll go to the solids building later, but for now we're gonna follow the water flow. These two big tanks are called bio towers. Water flows through sprinklers over the top of black plastic media that actually fills up the whole bio towers. And as that water runs over the media, it builds up a special layer of slime called a zooglial mass. That mass is filled with tiny microorganisms who actually eat the suspended solids that are still left in the water. As the water leaves the bio towers, it flows through the aeration basins where we're bubbling in a whole bunch of water, it gets the microorganisms really active, they eat and eat and eat, they start to clump together, and they get really big and heavy, kind of like us after Thanksgiving. And then the water flows into the secondary clarifiers. Once the microorganisms sink to the bottom of the tank, they're pumped back into the bio tower where they breed more microorganisms, or they're sent over to the solids building where they're mixed with our solids before being treated. Here at the final stage of the liquid process, we call disinfection. We inject the water with chlorine. That chlorine kills all the germs and anything that can hurt the environment before we discharge. We then take the water, inject an acidic form of salt. That gets rid of the chlorine so that it's safe to discharge further down the line. 
There we pump the water into the Mare Island Strait where it's put in cleaner than the water it goes into, checking the water in our own process every step of the way to make sure we're doing the best job possible. Remember back at the beginning of the process where we separated the liquids from the solids? When the solids comes, we uh, pump it to the blend tanks outside the solids building. In that blend tank, it is dosed with lime. Once we're ready to dewater the press, we pump the solids into the solids building. We do a uh, final dose of lime. Uh, we let it sit for two hours. From there, we bring it into, uh, we pump it to our belt press, which we add polymer, which clumps it together and removes the excess liquids from the sludge to make the sludge dryer for a cake product that we uh, produce. And the product that we get from the bell press is a dried cake, kind of like a mud pie, and, it, and it's used for fertilizer. Once the dried cake is gone into the hopper, we have a truck that, that offloads it to the farm at, uh, near the Sonoma Raceway. The cake is spread through to the farm, and um, it's not for human consumption, it's for the animals to, uh, and we produce oats and hay from that farm. Everything comes here is mostly gravity flow because we're uh, below sea level. We always use gravity flow, but when we get to a hill or a peak, we use a pump to pump the water over that hill to get it here. We have 40, over 40 pump stations in, Vallejo, in the Vallejo area. We use computers to track what is happening here at the wastewater treatment plant, as well as at the more than 40 pump stations located throughout Vallejo. We use gravity whenever possible to get the wastewater from your homes, schools, and businesses here to the treatment plant, but in areas where there are lots of hills, or the land is really flat or even below sea level, we need pumps to get the water here. As you can see, there are lots of things we do to keep the water clean, which means there are lots of different kinds of jobs here. Some jobs require special certificates and classes at local community colleges, and some require four-year degrees. We employ operators, lab technicians, engineers, mechanics, accountants, inspectors, construction workers, safety workers, and many others, it's a great place to work. If you're interested in a career in wastewater, reach out to us. Thanks for learning about wastewater in Vallejo. If you'd like more information, you can visit us online at vallejowastewater.org.